you are playing against your old club. Uh, does that make it easier or harder? Yeah, it'll be fun seeing the lads out there. But easier, definitely. I know how they play, their tactics, their tricks. Uh, Alex Hunter, yeah, 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 he's, uh, he's an old mate. Uh, I haven't really talked to him much recently. Um, can't really wish him luck, can I? Williams? Top boy, one of my best mates, we talk all the time. But this is the Champions League final. For those 90 minutes, he's just another player I've got to beat. Oi, Williams! <laughs> No autographs today, mate. Really busy. How you been, bruv? I've been good, I've been good. I made it to the Champions League final. You might have noticed if you answered your phone once in a while. I know. It's, it's not like I could just come over for a game, though, is it? No, no. I suppose not. <laughs> could do now, though. Now? I don't know. I'm really busy, Hunter. I mean, I've got a final to play. Right. I don't know if I can figure out right. my fine. schedule. Well, I've got geez. things to do. Yes, I'll play, yeah. I can thrash you like old times. Oh, come off it. You know you can't hang with a Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll park this way. On the past one. Past the second. Come Just out. to keep it to come beat. Out, come out, come out, oh, you oh, 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 Alex Hunter scores his hat-trick. <laughs> all right, all right, sit back down. Let me kick off. No, you sure you want to do that? Yes, you know what they say. Bad rehearsal, good performance. Who says that? A lot of people no say that. No one says that. Well, mate. I just said that. All right. How's Jim? He is fine. Why? No reason. I can't remember the last time we did this. Danny, I know I've been a rubbish mate. Way out is relentless. Like this bubble you can never get out of. As soon as you step out the door, there's people sticking phones in your face. My face everywhere. People knowing who I am, what I do. Yeah, a few years ago, it's all I dreamed about, but I never thought about what I'd lose. Pieces of who you are, things that matter to you most. Yeah, well, uh, beats having your face over a fish and chip shop advert, doesn't it? People wondering who that lanky guy is in the cheap suit. But you are right, yeah, you have been a rubbish friend. Pretty weird, this final. Yep. Not exactly how I imagined it. I need this, mate. What? And I don't? different all right how's it different it's the champions league final i want it as much as the next man as, as much as you you don't get it do you trust me i get it no you don't you have no idea what i've been through how i've been mugged off left right and center and you've been here trapped in your little bubble oblivious we were playing together two years ago You are a mate, but understand, during those 90 minutes, you are just another footballer to me, and not you, not Terry, not Ringo, not anyone is going to get in my way of winning that Champions League, all right? My name is on that trophy. It's a game of football, mate. Best team wins. We both know who that's going to be. You think you do?
You know, there was a time when the women's game drew as big a crowd as the men's did after the First World War. Yeah, that's before my time. I want you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what England needs now is another lily power. Bring the glory days back. Your great-grandfather, William, he saw her play in front of 50,000 at Goodison Park. She scored 43 goals in her first season, and she was even younger than you are. Yeah. She's a great <laughs> girl. Well, I'm glad you don't sound surprised. Enjoyed the tour? <laughs> <laughs> Granddad, you made it. Well, you don't think you're gonna miss this, do you? Feeling okay? <laughs> Been a while since I was up in the gods. What was it, 2005? 2004. FA Cup final. Dad took us to Cardiff instead of taking Mum out for their anniversary. <laughs> she didn't speak to him for a week, remember? Not that he cared. No one likes us, we don't care. Dad did love his normal. I guess we missed out on a few things when we was kids, eh? Yep. Every time I looked at Dad, all I saw looking back was disappointment. Little Danny, he'll never amount to anything. Hmm. Not compared to the great Connor Williams. <laughs> Self-made man. What do you reckon? I guess... I guess Dad never told you how he got William's construction empire. Gramps gave it to him. Yeah. A 50 million pound company handed to him on a silver platter. You're welcome. Dad never had to graft. Never took a knock. He never really built anything. Listen. Before the next match, they're going to keep you in a tunnel. An extra ten minutes at least. Build the suspense like now. I'm not being funny, all right? Don't just stand there. Go to the toilet. Go to the toilet. <laughs> yes, go to the toilet. All right, then. <laughs> so that's it? You just going? Whoa, my stomach's eating itself, bean pulp. Come on, let's get some grub. Many of those watching this final are hoping that tonight we will fail. But today this great team will be humbled. You're looking around this room. I don't want to see fear. What have we got to be scared of? We are Real Madrid. The standard bearers of excellence. You didn't get here because of luck. You got here because you earned it. A great team happens when great players give everything they have for each other instead of for themselves. Hey! Who are we? We are united. And we fear no one. Right, lads. You all know the team sheet. You all know your jobs. A la Madrid! This is history. 
right here. Come on, us. Get him. Well, this is it, an occasion of true grandeur. The date has been ringed in red for months now, and the stage is set here on the Spanish capital for the UEFA Champions League final. My name is Derek Ray, my co-commentator to help describe all the action is, of course, Lee Dixon, and we're fast approaching kickoff time here at the magnificent Estadio Metropolitano. It's Real Madrid versus Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek. Probably the biggest club competition in the world. The final at the end of that competition is always fully expected to be a great game. But you've got a lot of players involved who are very nervous. But I always look down as well, Derek, to the coaches. What do they do on a night like this? There's nothing they can do. They can't kick a ball, but they certainly can use their brains. Do they change their game plan? Do they have a special game plan for a final like this? I suggest you've got here on merit. Just carry on doing what you do. Let's dissect the Real Madrid side. We're thinking 4 3 3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers, it will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Cutting the ball back. And here's the lineup for. Can he give them the lead? And that was a heaven sent opportunity to take the lead so early. First goal is so important, Derek. Sometimes you're not ready. Well, you really must be ready this early in the game. Well, what an achievement to get to back to back finals. It really is, especially in the Champions League. But when you get to a final, you have to win it. And they're confident, they have belief, and they're going to try their best to pick that glorious trophy up again. Tony Kors. Real Madrid moving the ball with purpose. What can they do from this position? Now just couldn't keep himself onside. They had trouble keeping it. Lingard. Hunter, what's he going to do? Moving opportunity, Hunter. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Hunter. He's in with a chance. Well, you can hit. Hunter! In it goes! And it's Alex Hunter! Well, what a moment for the young lad on the biggest stage. And look how much it means to his family. What a touching moment. Well, here it is. How do you like him? In an open goal, please. No goalkeeper, no defenders. Where were they all? the match back in business Real Madrid with the advantage Jesse Lingard and the ball with Williams Lingard Philip now far from a smooth challenge now will the referee produce a card that will certainly mean a booking here and now he's on a tightrope
well he thinks he's hit the back of the net, but no, it's the bar. Pogba. Philippe Bernard. Here's Luke Shaw. And it's with Bernard. And make no mistake, Lee, Real Madrid expect to progress to the knockout stages in every Champions League campaign. Nevertheless, every Champions League match, irrespective of the stage, is a special occasion involving the Merengues. Well, it is. They're football royalty, as they say. And uh, every time they take the pitch, they expect to win, let alone in the Champions League, La Liga, any competition they're in. And quite rightly so, because their history is really, really rich. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Isco... Luka Modric, Marcelo, Luka Modric, and close to goal, and it's in, Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. A chance to revisit the goal. So, 2-0 now. Nemanja Matic has it. And the ball with Williams. Given away by Manchester United. Well, they are on the wrong end. Great ball from Isco. And is it going to be Gareth Bale? And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. And the ball taken forward by Tony Kroos. He has options around him. In full control of the ball here. It's there for him. The net is steering him in the face. And how about that for a save from Danny De Gea? It's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And in it goes. Well, let's have a look at that replay. As a defender, or all the defenders in the box, you've got to be a pessimist. You've got to expect something bad to happen. It's back off the keeper, and now it's in the back of the net. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Passing like that, part of Luka Modric's game. Terrific reflex action. Yeah, you've just got to come out and spread yourself and hope for the best. Relentless high pressing. Half time it is, and red. Can he give them the lead? And that was a heaven sent opportunity to take the lead so early. First goal is so important. Well, you can hit. Hunter! In it goes! and it's Alex Hunter well what a moment for the young lad on the biggest stage Philip Bernard now far from a smooth challenge now will the referee produce a card And the free kick off the bar. Well, he thinks he's hit the back of the net, but no, it's the bar.
And we're back in business here at the wonderfully atmospheric Estadio Metropolitano. Jesse Lingard. Delivered into the area here. Taking care of business defensively here. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. He just keeps going. No let up. And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? And the defender takes care of business. Rashford unable to hold it. Marcelo. And it could be Marcelo. Can they slot it home? A punch happy goalkeeper. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, the saying in the theatre, take a bow, that's exactly what he should be doing after that first half performance. Just giving the man of the match award now. Sensational. Philip Bernard manoeuvring his way forward. Bodies forward and the break looks on. This is Kroos. Now, what can he do here? Cutting the ball back. Joy for the Merengues. Real Madrid have scored. Well, they pushed and pushed. They tested and tested and they got their reward. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does and he scores. Has been one sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. And the ball with Williams. And Kors. And he, he's in with a chance. He cuts it back. Pogba has it. And now Danny Williams. And cleared away. Manchester United getting players forward and moving the ball around. Tony Kors. Madrid. And he's broken free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? Oh dear, oh dear. That is a spectacular failure of composure. Well, he's duffed it. It's poor technique, one-on-one. -on -one. What a miss. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Anthony Martial. And Pogba. Given away by Manchester United. Will there be a tangible end product? Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Thunders clear. And it's gone out for a throw in to Real Madrid. Perhaps an opportunity for Isco. And he's gone and scored for Real Madrid. Well, that's what Real Madrid do. They put you under pressure and you normally crumble. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. This is the Manja Matic. Mata. He has been deemed to be offside, not by Muchley. Brilliant, brilliant officiating, that is. Look at that, spot on. He's given us away. And it's with Bernard. And, and is he going to do it, Martial? That is a tackle and a half. And Kroos failed to hold it. Paul Pogba. Danny Williams. And Paul Pogba. Matic. Oh, surely 
It's fair to say that is a moment he would love to have back, Lee. Well, I would have gone for power, but he went to place it in the corner. Not very good at all. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Williams read it superbly to take back possession. And they've done it! Real Madrid are the champions! Alex, Lily, félicitations. Merci, mon ami. See you next time. <laughs> Good game, mate. I had to let you in, didn't I? I mean, imagine if you'd lost. All those sponsors would have dropped you in a heartbeat. <laughs> <sighs> nah, I appreciate it, bruv. Let's grab a bite before you leave. Yeah, sure. Real Madrid expects success, and Alex Hunter this season has helped them achieve success, Lee. Well, he has. He's been instrumental in their success. And you can look back his players, all the money in the bank, and the cars in the garage, but it's trophies. It's trophies that you count as a player. And certainly there's another one in the trophy cabinet tonight. I'm not going to forget the celebrations. The Real Madrid players. And they're going to run long into the night. This is one of the moments you dream about as a footballer. The most coveted prize in the European club game awaits. That's what they've spent the whole season playing for. The Champions League trophy. And in 2019, as so often in the past, it's the property of Real Madrid. Well, these players celebrate this moment right now and later on in the evening with their families. All those double training sessions, all that hard work on the training pitch, and now all come to fruition. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? This is the best bit, Derek, it really is. Celebrating with teammates is great, but sharing it with your supporters through thick and thin, they've supported you, and now they get their reward. This is what they set out to do at the start of the season, and this is what they have delivered. And now the images of these heroes captured for eternity. Real Madrid the club champions of Europe. Well, you can hit Hunter! What? In it goes! And it's Alex Hunter! Well, what a moment for the young lad on the biggest stage. Marcelo. Look at Modric. And close to goal, and it's in! Real Madrid firmly in charge here. And is it going to be Gareth Bale? And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Now you are part of this great club's history. No one can ever take that away from you. 
Alex! Alex! <laughs> you won the Champions League! What? Boy, how did you even get in here? No, oh, you know me. <laughs> Everyone's waiting outside, so come on. Alex! The sponsors are waiting for you to say a few words. Come on. We shouldn't leave everyone hiding. I was just gonna... Alex, the whole world is watching. Alex. You know I appreciate everything you've done for me. But I can't. Not this time. I'm sorry. Come on in. Alex, wait! Alex! The other day, my eyes, I was talking to my mate from India. never prouder of you than I was today, Alex. You're a credit to this family. You're a credit to football. You're the greatest hunter ever. Today's an historic day. It's our chance to be the first women's team to win four World Cups. That's right. Yeah. And we get to do it at the expense of our fiercest rivals. <sighs> but make no mistake, this is the game of our lives against a skilled, well-motivated opponent who would like nothing more than to see us fall. So one slip, one lapse in judgment, and all our hard work can be undone like that. out there, Hunter. Seriously.
Well, this is it. The wait is finally over. We are just minutes away from the kickoff for the 2019 Women's World Cup final. We could hardly have asked for a better matchup. The USA take on Canada. I'm Martin Tyler, and I could hardly ask for a better co commentator than the ever experienced Alan Smith. Thank you, Martin. Yes, delighted to be here. Can't wait for this one to get kicked off. I mean, we could have asked for a better matchup, as you said, between these two teams. But uh, there's always been an edge in the contest, and there might well be out here today as well. It has been a fantastic tournament here in France, and hopefully, we'll have a final that lives up to everything that we've seen beforehand. Canada's lineup today. So we think it's going to be 3 5 2, Alan, don't we? Yes, it looks that way. I mean, this formation went out of fashion for a number of years, particularly in it. And the referee has given the free kick. So, talking to from the referee, the card stayed in the pocket. Yeah, you don't always see that so often. The ref will produce a yellow early on and quite often leads to a red. Really connected well and disappointed to see that fly off target. Yeah, somebody in the crowd more in danger from that shot. Heath. And Morgan. Got the opposition. Opportunity now. Oh, it's got to be. Must take the lead here. What a story. Kim Hunter gets a goal in the Women's World Cup final. Can you believe it? To score on the biggest stage at her age. Incredible. Kim's great moment, shared, of course, by the family, the Hunter family watching on from the stands. Well, you get a lot of satisfaction as a goal-scoring forward for knocking one in from that distance. You know you're in the right place. No, it was a poacher's effort. The final finish wasn't difficult, but to get there, it took a little bit of instinct. Prince. That would be a throw. Lawrence. On the move and a had a goal. Ah, uh, saw it all the way, the goalkeeper, and it's comfortable in the end. Schmidt. United States winning the ball back. And Morgan. That's good movement forward here. Must score! Morgan! Two in front now. Well, keep the concentration and they've won this match, I think. Well, you get a lot of satisfaction as a goal-scoring forward for knocking one in from that distance. You know you're in the right place. No, it was a poacher's effort. The final finish wasn't difficult, but to get there, it took a little bit of instinct. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Scott. To Schmidt. Excellent interception. Hunter! Cleared it well. USA's ball, it's their throw. Now Morgan. 
decided to go infield, looking dangerous. Hunter! That is one of the great saves. Had no right to stop that. Had no right to get a hand on it. What a stop. Put the corner in the middle. Well, that's good defending. Opportunity here. Oh, they've got out of jail there. This turnover could be costly against a side that can break like this. Schmidt. Guiding the pass through. Oh, the goalkeeper's got it, but only just. Decisive pass. Surely. Oh, she's been so brave here. Easily could have got a, a nasty facial injury. But she's got the ball and she's come up smiling. Ball goes out of play here quite clearly. Uh, an attempted pass, but not a good one. Becky. Schmidt. Tried to play it through, cut out by the opposition. Could get a goal back here. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. Grasped in the end. That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. Tobin Heath. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. That's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. Two minutes of added time. Lawrence. Far too close, the cross to the keeper. But what a very good first half it's been. And it's the start of the game here. Oh, it's got to be. Must take the lead here. What a story. Kim Hunter gets a goal in the Women's World Cup final. Can you believe? So the second half on this very big day here in Paris is underway. The final of the Women's World Cup. Morgan, a lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they've still got the ball. Wonderful chance! What a lovely death finish that was. That's her second goal. And no wonder she's happy. We can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. I have to say it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Sophie Schmidt to Scott. Rapino. Lloyd. Hunter. Now Morgan. Pass treaded through. A real chance here. Surely. It should be. Oh. Credit for the effort, the intention, but the technique was poor. It's time for some fresh legs here. Hunter. It's a very good interception.
Heath. Can really get at the opposition here. And they've got it away from the danger. Well, we're two-thirds of the way through the 90 minutes. Half an hour to go. We're threading it through. Real chance. Well, that was the hat-trick chance. Oh, not many times in a season you do get an opportunity to get the match ball, but that was certainly one of them. Two substitutions to come, one from each camp. Here's Sinclair. Lawrence. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Has to score! And the tackler really out of control and he just can't get away with that. Alex Morgan. It's a quick break. It's opened up. Here's a chance to knock him. And USA have got a penalty here. Oh, the goalkeeper's in trouble here. She's sent off. The manager's going to bring on a fresh player now. Doubled up here. That's uh, a terrific effort, and I think the confidence from the first goal certainly helped with the second. Well, let's take another look at the goal. One team really on their game today, the other very off colour. A bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Probing with the pass. Real chance. It's looking good, this move. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Now it's Michelle Prince. Well, it's easy here for the keeper. Seven minutes to go. Good vision. Played in the clear. Oh, it's got to be. Well, they saw the opportunity, didn't they, to counter-attack. But they haven't made the most of it. Well, you thought for all the world that that was going to... End up in the back of the net, but a bad choice in the end. She should have passed. Action on the USA bench. A change here coming up. Melanie Tremblay. Matheson. Adriana Leon. Tremblay. With Matheson. Cleared it well. Heath. Hunter. A bit of space to go. Lovely, incisive pass. Here's a chance. And the ball's in. It's a goal. Patrick. Goal number three here. And it's a perfect day for the player. Well, what a sweet moment for her. A hat trick. And every single one was beautifully taken. No wonder she's got a big smile on her face. It is now an extraordinary lead, 
and you could say really game over that's an easy cut out for the opposition saw the pass coming goalkeeper hangs on they've done it the USA are women's world champions deserves it more than Kim Hunter. What a phenomenal tournament she's had. She's announced herself to the world as arguably the most exciting player in the women's game today, having played with a maturity well beyond her years. Well, this American dream has become reality, and Kim Hunter, very much a part of this. Well, she really has come of age in this tournament, hasn't she? For one so young, so much ability. For a record fourth time, the USA are winners of the Women's World Cup, the world champions. Richly deserved. I think that's more than fair, Marty. What they have got is a tremendous togetherness, team spirit. And we've already mentioned Kim Hunter, that partnership, that understanding with Alex Morgan. I mean, that's going to be such an asset for this team. Well, they go to the fans and, of course, the family as well. In Kim Hunter's case, with her dad and her brother here. It's a real Hunter dynasty. Moments to savour these, aren't they? Moments that these players will never forget. A great setting for the final, the all North American affair, and the USA posing for these photos with this marvellous trophy. World Cup winners 2019. Oh, it's got to be. Must take the lead here. What a story. Kim Hunter gets a goal in the... All set. I can't believe I'm actually moving out. You can't believe it. It's gonna be kind of weird leaving LA. Been here all my life. Listen, Kim. I need to tell you that your instincts were right. And that was some deal that be sorted for you. You're going to change the game. And I couldn't be prouder of you. 
Well, uh, I was taught by the best. Mrs. Dean, ninth grade. <laughs> well, I'll get this in the car. First of five. Sounds good to me. Good? Yep. You know me? Vamos. Ready? Ready. Come on, we can do this. Way to put your body in the way.
legends. Still got it. <laughs> I know, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> hey guys, let's head back soon. I want to show you a wicked video I found. Look at that skull. Mm-hmm. How? Because I'm an internet ninja! <laughs> <laughs> Quite the Christmas present, eh? Yeah. Football never changes. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Win or lose. Not bad for old time.